In this episode, Alex takes a bizarre ride to the far side. Nerd Soul. Late ill kid at one youngster holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, uh, yeah, we coming with another wonderful episode of On Screen. And we ain't gonna waste no time because we got episode five of Runaways. And this was an interesting episode. Like I said, Alex takes a very bizarre ride to the far side. Now, we, we actually start with a, with a flashback that I thought was kind of cool because it does provide context into kind of the relationship between bald head daddy and non ball head friend. Now it's play. But they, you know, they were in jail together, took the rap form, and he was like, yo, I'm gonna take care of your family. You're gonna be all good. I got you. But apparently, he didn't got him because dude is still living in the hood while he got a little baby mansion and guest house and all that. And, and he's still wearing a do rag. All right? When, when you're wearing a do rag, all right, everything's not good. And I, look, I know people gonna be mad at that, but I'm just keep it real. Look, look, all right, do you see the bald-headed brother walking a, a do-rag? No, you don't. All right, so anyway, point is, still some beef there. He was like, I'm gonna give you 50K. That won't enough, apparently, because now we kidnapping kids. Now, honestly, I guess it's still kind of okay, because I mean, Alex is a kid, so you should kidnap a kid. If you kidnapping adults, then that's a whole nother level of bad. But, what Alex learns in this ride is that, you know, he, he already had a doorway into, you know, my dad might not be all he's cracked up to be. And, you know, yeah, he finds out, you know, daddy a little on the dirty tip. And of course, his, his old friend is all too, you know, happy to be like, yeah, your dad, he from the hood too. You know, he got in trouble just like I did or something. I took the rap for him. I'm like, man, look, man, you ain't, you snitching, all right? You still snitching, all right? And where you from, where, where I'm from, where a lot of us are from, stop snitching, all right? Even though you're kind of revealing the truth to his son, you're still kind of snitching, all right? Stop snitching. Now, out of this, what I thought was funny and kind of made my eyes roll a little bit was the, like, the matted wig on, on Alex's dad's head, like when he was in jail and that, and that beard, Oh boy, oh, it, it, it was so matted. I mean, I know, you know, he's bald. They gotta give him hair real quick, but it just looked bad, man. It just looked terrible. It was funny, cause I looked at it, I was like, ah, but uh, it was cool. The, at least we got some context into why this guy's so angry with him. Also, the whole bit with Alex and the other little kid that he ended up shooting, I can't remember the dude's name. This is random kid, gets sacrificed. But he was like, the whole trope with like, well, people from the hood don't know technology and stuff. I was like, man, come on, is it the 90s? Like, are we really doing this storyline? But look, I, somebody in the writer's room wanted to write it. Apparently there wasn't a brother in there that was like, look, don't write that line. But anyway, it, it kind of came off corny. The the gangsters don't come off gangstery to me. Like I feel like the the jail scene, they should have called somebody who used to work on Oz from HBO and get them to write that jail scene real quick. But all in all, I thought it was real cool because we do establish why they're not, you know, buddy buddy anymore. But there were some small spots in there where I was like, come on, bro, y'all, y'all going to cheap rap. Now, besides the bizarre ride, we did get to finally resurrect uh, uh, Carolina's granddaddy, uh, at least we hope. And here's my thing. They finally resurrect him. They take the, the little boy's gunshot. They resurrect the, the granddaddy. And now all of a sudden, Carolina's mom is all looking like all hurt up and sad, like she didn't really want him back. Really though? Really? Like if you didn't want him back, why you ain't just let him die? He was old, crustified up, all wrinkly and dried up. Why you ain't just let him die? You know what I'm saying? Why? Why? But nah, you go through all this. They ended up sacrificing like what, 15, 16 kids or something. And now you got another one, so 17 or something. Uh, let's just go and round it up, all right? They done killed about 20 kids just to get this one dude back. And now once he back, you gonna be all frowned up, hugging him with your eyes, looking all longingly. Man, look, all right? 
be real. You know you wanted him back. Or if you were scared of him, you knew who he was before you brought him back. So this is your fault. Don't be acting, don't be giving me that sad face. You deserve what you got. Now, of course, there's some other cool stuff because we got to get into what the kids did. But first, of course, Kill Brand, go help us pay them bills. Uh, yeah, that's right. Check yourself out a shirt at the link below, curebrand.com. And once you pick something you like, cop it. So the last thing that really took center stage this episode was kind of like the, I guess the the assembling of our team. You know, finally we we get to see everybody's well, almost everybody's powers. Because of course, Alex has been kidnapped. So Nico is like, yo, I need some help. We need to find who did this. I don't know who it is. You know, Carolina's like, it might be my mom. Who knows? You know, because all of their parents is dirty. So you don't know who did it. But they assemble the team. They texting, calling, you know, getting chased and getting dirt and all that. Everybody get together. And once they do assemble, it's nice to see them all together. You know, Nico's, you know, uh, commanding the staff. You got, uh, <laughs> You got Carolina hitting you with those Jubilee powers. I know it's not Jubilee powers. I know they're going to manifest later on. But for now, when I saw him, I was just like, oh, look, it's a stronger Jubilee. But we're, we're going to let that go. I know you guys are going to flame me for that. That's fine. But I'm just saying, homegirl did light it up. <laughs> but aside from that, it was cool to see uh, Chase's gauntlets work. And you know, they, they look a little rudimentary. You know what I'm saying? He probably gonna iterate on that, get some better, get some better styles. But it was cool to see them join straight work. And I mean, you know, I, I can only be happy that he has a working model because they did a lot of stuff off screen for that. So we gonna let that slide. Um, but it was cool to see them all together. Then of course, Molly was like super happy to be like, yeah, I'm extra strong. And honestly, Molly is way stronger than she looks because I was like, okay, she pulled, you know, she pushed the, the van. And I was like, you know, well, the van was kind of like just in neutral. But for her to lift that other Jeep, and that was like, what was it, like, a, like Escalade or something? I don't know. I know it's heavy, all right? Like, Molly, I gotta give her a props on this. Molly, she came through. She definitely came through for the team. And of course, they ended up saving Alex, which is most important. Now, we have a long term villain with the pride or mostly with bald head daddy and <laughs> Mr. Wilder. But <laughs> we we have a long-term villain with him because he ended up getting away. And now we have, you know, Carolina's granddaddy back and who knows what's gonna happen with that. So honestly, with this episode, I enjoyed it. I'm still enjoying the show. I think we're having a lot of fun. It's good to see where Chase is gonna land, especially now that his dad is sort of accepting him with the whole, I guess you could say, engineering, creator, builder kind of stuff. Um, he, he really seems to be finding his home and seeing himself in his son now. And I think Chase, that's something Chase has always been looking for. Also, it was nice to see that that look into the future machine that he was working on actually works. So maybe they'll come back and see that and see that it actually works and maybe that'll reinvigorate him. But it doesn't change the fact that your dad is a straight up criminal. But we're not gonna go there, all right? We're gonna see what happens next week because pretty psyched to see what goes on, man. Hopefully it's dope. And hopefully we keep going on with this nice little love thing with your boy Alex and Nico. So of course, holla at me, I'm gonna holla at you. Down in the comments, let's talk about Hulu Marvel's Runaways. I'm psyched about it. I'm still enjoying it. I think the kids are a great team and I love seeing them together. So. Of course, before I bounce, I gotta tell you to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. And don't forget to get one for them play ads. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And please be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And remember, just because you kidnap somebody doesn't mean it's going to work. Peace.